Hi, I'm Ryan Chong. Welcome to Syntax Logics. Today, we will discuss about SQL accounting software e-invoice module, import supplier e-invoice from LHDM portal. Normally, in e-invoice era, when your supplier gives you an e-invoice, you need to key in, in SQL accounting software, supplier invoice, or purchase invoice. Instead of manually keying in, SQL accounting software have these features to import the supplier e-invoice from LHDM portal. Let's get started. In SQL accounting software, go to purchase module, purchase invoice. Instead of click new to key in manually, I just need to click this icon and click batch import e-invoice. I can set the date range. Let's say I set today's date. Apply. I can see that there's two e-invoice sent by my supplier. What I need to do, I just need to click on this Let's say I want to import this invoice and I can select the sender code. The sender code is actually your supplier code in your SQL accounting software. And you can see that this is auto map already because I have import previously. Under here is not only supplier code you can do mapping, but also the item code. This is the item that your supplier sell to you. And if you wish to map to your stock item code, you can map this. It will help you to increase the stock quantity because you, you know that if you do stock control, key in under purchase invoice, it will increase the quantity. But please take note, if you have key in the purchase goods received note, do not do this import because there's no linking, there's no transfer from goods received. If you import directly, your goods received will increase one time of the quantity and purchase invoice will increase another time. For SQL user who have key goods received note, you do not do this import. This is only for those who do not do goods received note. And you just need to click import. Done. So the purchase invoice we import is 0525 002. So I close this one, I refresh. So IV-0525-002. You can see that it has been successfully imported with supplier info, invoice details, and also item details. I do not need to manually key in. So this will ensure correct information has been entered into SQL accounting software. So now you know how to import supplier e-invoice into SQL accounting software in e-invoice era. Please join my social media, Facebook forum, and also WhatsApp channel to get the latest information regarding SQL accounting software and also my sharing regarding e-invoice. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.